Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of our Polity Quick Revision series. So now that we've covered the chapter on Panchayati Raj in great detail in the past few videos, now let us try to test ourselves by taking a look at some interesting questions from this particular topic. So without any further delay, let's get started. Let's take a look at some questions. See, consider the following statements with respect to the 73rd Constitutional Amendment. Okay, uh, there is 27% reservation for OPCs. Uh, the chairperson of the Panchayat at the intermediate district level shall be elected by and from amongst the elected members thereof. Uh, there is a reservation for SCs and STs. There is a uniform five-year term for the local bodies. Which of these, okay, which of these are correct? Option C. Option C. Uh, that means one. So you have sort of uh, removed one from it. Why did you eliminate one? A reservation is not provided for OPCs. Reservation is not provided for OPCs. Are you sure? Karnataka has a reservation for OPCs. Maharashtra has reservation for OPCs. We discussed that, right? If a state wants to give, it can give, sir. It's not mandatory. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, so both of you have tag teamed in order to get this answer right. Okay, so that is C. Okay, the answer is right, but just to elaborate on that explanation. Okay, uh, let's take a look at a couple more questions. Who recommends to the governor the principles which should govern the distribution between the state and the panchayats of the net proceeds of the taxes, tolls, fees, whatever, you know, that can be leviable by the state? which may be divided between this between them them means your between the state and the panchayat option b b for bombay b you're saying delhi state finance commission are you yes. sure it's not the finance minister it seems like a very big responsibility shouldn't it be the finance minister no sir Okay, so you're saying no. And primarily, uh, there are two things that I want to say here. First thing is, um, don't think of any logic here. Okay. Uh, think of what you read in Lakshmi Kant. And what you've read in Lakshmi Kant will have that logic. Okay. You might think that, okay, what about finance minister? What about chief minister? Who could it be? No, just go back and think what was there in Lakshmi Kant. Then think about the logic that was must have been there. Okay. So Lakshmi Kant would have had it right. Now, uh, it is not the finance minister. Why so? The finance minister of the state, okay, like the finance minister of the state might want to sort of keep all the power at the state level itself. Why sort of devolve it all the way to the panchayat levels, right? The more money for us, the better we can do, right? Maybe they don't trust the panchayat, okay? So, so things like that, okay? So for that, you have to have an independent body that says, hey guys, okay, even the state guys will have to have some money. Even the panchayat should have some money so that they can do their job properly. Okay, so I will give out the principles, okay, and uh, I will recommend the principles that can govern the net proceeds of taxes between the two of you. Okay, so that is the logic. Okay, so again, you know, um, just go back and think about Lakshmi Khan. What did Lakshmi Khan say? That's why it's called the Bible of Polity. There's another book also, D.D. Basu. Anyway, uh, forget that. Hmm? I started with the uh, D.D. Basu. Okay, for the you know, I was a working professional when I had started and I, you know, uh, the kind of books that I liked, um, I did not have any sort of a big group that I would read with or study with. I didn't. So for me, if I just knew that there is a subject called polity, which is the book that I liked, uh, I kind of liked the DD Basu thing and it's relatively smaller as well. But Lakshmi Kant is definitely the best book, especially when it comes to your prelims. Okay. Especially when it comes to prelims. Okay. No questions asked. And Lakshmi Kant, along with that MCQ file that I've sent you, in order for you to ensure that you can master your Lakshmi Kant. Okay. Um, under which provision does the governor of the state constitute a, excuse me, state finance commission uh, to review the financial position of the panchayats? Under the discretionary powers of the governor, by a, uh, a resolution passed in the legislative assembly in accordance with article blah, blah, blah of the constitution in India uh, of India, in accordance with the resolution passed in Rajya Sabha. Option C. Did you know 243I or 243.1, whatever it is? The point is, and neither did I, although I know that it is Article 243. Okay, 243 is the one that, you know, in your 11th schedule and all of that. Uh, that part I know. Okay, but I don't know. I've told you, right? Like, you know, if you, if you ask me so many of these numbers and all of that, I will not be able to tell you, but I can tell you the logic. But one thing that I would know for sure that the State Finance Commission, just like your Central Finance Commission, is based on something in the Constitution. It is not some discretion. 
discretionary power no it is not you know based on the legislative assembly sort of allowing for something like this no okay this is not like some legislative assembly doing a favor you know to the uh, panchayat or, or not even like the rajya sabha it has to be in the constitution so with that even if i don't know anything even if i don't know what is 243 i'm going to go it has something to do with the constitution is that sort of uh, clear